Good morning folks. Welcome back. We are just getting set up. We are just after sunup up here in Maine. It is a little after five, a little overcast, some slight rain if you call it that. More of a mist from the fog but it almost feels like rain. It was raining when I came in. I weren't sure if I was going to set the cameras up or not but we're going to risk it. Um, I just got this rod set out. We're fishing for lake trout and brook trout, primarily lake trout, but any brook trout is obviously welcome. All the fish in this place are native. There's zero stocking in this pond. So everything here is completely native. This rod here is my lake trout rod, running a little bigger of a spoon on it. This is just under four inches. I think this is three and a half, as you can see, orange with black dots. That's my favorite pattern up here in Maine. On my brook trout rod, I have what's called the Wonder Bread pattern. It's a white spoon with some blue, uh, green, and purple dots on it. That's a good all-around color for brook trout. Uh, salmon will hit that. Lake trout will hit that. Just a good overall color. Uh, I haven't had much time to fish this season. Just been really busy. My daughter's in two sports right now. So that's been keeping us busy. Uh, that's been uh, keeping us busy during the week. So haven't really had a lot of time to fish and the time I have had to fish have been windy, rainy, just not good days to fish. So um, unfortunately, this is my first video of the spring season. I have done a little bit of fishing that I haven't filmed. I fished with my daughter a few times, fished with a friend from work uh, two weekends ago and we caught some nice browns. That would have made a pretty good video, but I just didn't want to film it. And I'm going to be fishing 50 feet of water or less, just because that's as far down as I can get with a lead core. So I'm going to be fishing in that 50 to 60 foot range or shallower. Uh, I will be going uh, shallower if needed. If I have to reel these up a little bit and explore into like 20 feet of water, I will. So I moved in a little shallower, I'm in 20 feet of water, and I am picking up some nice bait. Maybe I was out too far. I'll try to get this one on camera, show you guys what I'm looking at. So that blue right there, that looks to be bait. Uh, that red hump there, that looks like a dense school of bait. Uh, possibly that could be a big lake trout, possibly. But I'm going to get my phone away because we may get bit right here also coming into some other bait yeah this looks like a good stretch right here moved in a little shallower i like the looks of that bait there'll definitely be some fish following that and i am running right over them same thing lake trout rod brook trout rod there could be either fish following that bait in this shallow that's a good sign hopefully there's some fish on it come on let's see these rods popping one of these has got to go off i'll be shocked if we don't pick up a fish around that bait I'll be shocked. I doubt a smaller fish would have hit that big spoon, possibly. This rod just looks a little suspect. Give it a, oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. Right through that bait. That's what we want right there. Feels like a lake trout. We are digging pretty good. Be interested to see if this is a lake trout. Does it hit off a smaller spoon? Alright, stay pinned, buddy. Lightened up a little bit. Possible this could be a brook trout. Yeah, looks like a little lake trout. cranking not a big one but I can't pull them up hmm. come on buddy I know you think you're big but you're really not that big this looks to be maybe a 20 inch lake trout there we go first fish first fish of the morning all right buddy Let's make this nice and easy. Using single hooks today. I didn't mention that earlier. He was hooked right in the top of the mouth. Any blood you see is just some surface blood. 
This hook was nowhere near his gills. All right, just a quick shot of this fish. Not a long one, but uh, he is fat and chubby. He's been eating very well. We're gonna get this fish back. I'm gonna take a quick shot of him and we'll get him back in the water. No problem. All right, guys, first fish down. I'll show you what that fish hit off of. This is a much smaller spoon. This is a just about two and a quarter inch. It's called the Wonder Bread pattern. White, has some blue dots, pink, and kind of a neon green using a single hook. Trying these out this season. I've always experimented with single hooks, but I wanted to give them a try this season. And that fish was pinned and didn't go anywhere. And that fish thrashed around pretty good right by the kayak. And uh, he stayed pinned. So that was a good hookup. Nice fat lake trout. That lake trout was eating very well. Pretty sure that fish came off that bait I saw. So we're gonna get these back out and hopefully tie into a couple more. But as soon as I moved in shallow, I mean, I weren't in shallow more than 10 minutes and I tied into that fish. Uh, don't be afraid to mix it up because oftentimes it'll pay off just like that lake trout did. Came in a little shallower. I'm in like 17 feet of water right now. Nice bait ball. Let's see if we can make something happen on that. That's a hard shoreline to fish because it's just like this up and down with rocks. If I get in too close, I, uh, I get hung up. There's rocks and like sticks and stuff down there. It's not an easy point to fish, but we are in some serious bait right now. I'll be amazed. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Yep, yep, a ton of bait right here. Oh no. This may be a brook trout. I bet this is a brook trout. Uh, that feels a little lake trout-ish. There's a lot of fish here though. There's a lot of, a lot of bait right there. But this is a brook trout. That's what I'm guessing. Either that or a really small lake trout. Eh, maybe lake trout. Brook trout, I believe. Which I will be really happy with because that looks like a nice one. Can't tell. Nice brook trout. Nice brook trout. That is a nice brook trout. That is a nice brook trout for this place. Nice brook trout. Just a quick shot of this brook trout, then we're gonna get it back. Look at that. Nice, solid, fat, sturdy brook trout. Uh, he landed right in the net. We're gonna call it good with that on the GoPro. Gonna get this fish right back. That is the biggest brook trout I've caught out of here. Not the biggest I've ever caught. But uh, that is a beautiful brook trout right there. Just gonna let him spend a minute in the net. Let it take all the time it needs. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. There it goes. Nice, beautiful brook trout. That fish was a little lazy on the takeoff. Took its own time, but it swam away nice and sturdy. So I'm gonna make a change. I haven't got touched on this orange spoon. I've caught a lake trout and a brook trout off of that Wonder Bread spoon. So I'm gonna change this one out. I hope I have one. If I don't, I'll find something close. So I just checked my box. I don't have that same Wonder Bread pattern in these bigger spoons, so I'm gonna go one more pass around this area with this copper spoon. I generally don't like to run the same exact spoon, especially if I'm 
targeting two different fish. I mean, in this case, I'm, you know, going after lake trout primarily. You know, brook trout, I would say, would be secondary. So I'm going to give this one trip around. This is a three and three quarter inch spoon. This is all copper. No real pattern on it. It's a just overall good color. Looks really good in the water. I'm going to give this one run around. If I don't get hit on that, I'm going to go to that same exact spoon on this one. Give that just a little bit of a bend. And I'm going to try to get set up so I can go right through that bait again. There was a ton of bait right there. I did waste a couple minutes, unfortunately, but I'm pretty confident it'll be in that same general area. This has been the spoon for the morning, that Wonder Bread pattern. It's been working really well. And I don't think I mentioned, folks, both of them fish were down three colors on my lead core, which gets me down about 15 feet. So that's another pattern I picked up on. You know, that kind of seems to be the depth so far. I haven't got hit on this rod. This rod I've been running a little deeper. Uh, so we're picking up a little bit of a pattern. We're gonna go through this same area again that I just caught that brook trout. And hopefully we're tying to another one. No, that was all bait. Bunch of bait right here. So much bait it looked like a rock. Oh, fish, fish. Yep, right through that bait. Like I said, the fish were stacked there. I didn't get a shot of it because Still getting set up. I don't know what this is. This uh, got to be a lake trout. Yeah, it's taking a little drag. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, I gotta swap that spoon out. They're just not hitting it. Unless this is a big brookie, which is possible. Lake trout or big brook trout? Lake trout. Oh, that's a big brook trout. That's a big brook trout. I thought it was a lake trout. That's a big brook trout. It's bigger than the last one. Oh, big brook trout. Yes! Big fat brook trout. Oh my god, that's huge. That may be my biggest brook trout. Oh my god. That is a monster brook trout. This is my biggest brook trout ever, guys. I'm just gonna give this fish a minute in the net. This fish is all unhooked. He's uh, just chilling out in the net. I'll give you guys a quick shot of him here in just a second. I just wanna give him a quick breath where I reeled him in. It was a easy reel in, but with these brook trout, I'd just be super, super easy with them. Let's get a quick shot of him. If this fish jumps off, he jumps off. Look at that brook trout, guys. Big fat brook trout. Biggest one I've ever caught by far. Oh, there's something on that. How was something on that? Oh my God, it's a lake trout. Lake trout hit. Just hanging. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. I want to get this fish back. I don't want to mess with this fish at all. I'm just going to let this fish drag. Insane, guys. I can't keep this brook trout. I can't keep this brook trout anymore. Um, gonna get him back. He's ready to go. Quick shot of him. Insane brook trout. All right, see you, buddy. See you, buddy. He's gone. I think I lost this fish. No, it's still on. Insane. This spoon was just hanging. I'm not even really drifting, guys. Unbelievable. All right, this is a lake trout. All right, that brook trout's acting a little funny. I can see him, he's right under me. He kind of came up and swam on the surface and... Yeah, he's gone. That was weird. You guys saw that brook trout. He uh, kind of went down, swam around, and went under the kayak. 
fish was swimming completely fine. Um, I'm going to hang here just a minute and make sure that brook trout's fine. I don't know why it wouldn't be. That brook trout, guys, I'm, I'm blown away. That brook trout is the biggest brook trout I have ever caught. I'm blown away. I'm at a loss for words. That brook trout was, I don't know, 20 inches, 20 inches plus. I don't like to measure them, like I said, especially when I'm in the kayak. Them fish, unfortunately, are fussy. Um, as much as I love brook trout, they're not the most durable fish. You know, they're really fussy. Um, I have no doubt that fish will be fine. Acted a little funny when I put them back. It kind of stayed on the top of the water for a while, but sometimes they do that. Sometimes they'll do something a little funny like that. Just going back to that fish real quick. Now that I've had some time to process it, I'm, I'm blown away. Uh, that is the fattest brook trout I've ever caught. I mean, I dream of fish like that. Uh, I didn't obviously measure it. I don't like to keep brook trout out of the water any longer than I have to. So personally, I really don't care how big a fish is. I know a lot of you folks want to know how long it was, you know, what the girth was, how much it weighed. I mean, I would never weigh a fish like that, but I mean, that fish had to be close to four pounds. I've caught enough bass in my life. I've weighed enough bass in my life. That was at least a three and a half to four pound brook trout. Uh, stunning brook trout. Uh, what amazes me the most about that fish is the girth of it. The I've never caught a brook trout that fat before. I've caught some that were close lengthwise, but I've never even remotely come close to catching one that fat. Um, I'm pumped guys, I don't know what to say. To me, that's a fish of a lifetime. So hopefully you guys got a good shot of it. But we're gonna get back to it and uh, hopefully tie into another one. All right, folks, we are on our final pass here. Just a quick summary. I'm gonna cut out a bunch of talking I've done over the past hour and a half. No other fish after that last brook trout. I may have missed a bite window after that brook trout. I mapped out this point with my fish finder here. This fish finder has the ability to map the uh, bottom structure so I spent about 30 minutes zigzagging that point I was fishing but it was a lot of reeling up reeling down reeling up reeling down reeling up reeling down so I may have missed a bite window I may have been sitting on a bite window that uh, has since gone it's been about an hour hour and ten minutes or so since that last fish you guys saw I did get one hit off this rod I went over a school of bait and I got thumped outside of that uh, no other action uh, heading back in right now I'm just gonna do a quick paddle I got 10 minutes left so if you guys don't see another fish this will be the end of the video I'm hoping to be on a one video a week schedule from now on out if not uh, once a week definitely once every two weeks I'm also going to be getting back to lure making uh, I know a bunch of you have been asking if I'm gonna be you know posting any more lure making videos which I will be soon I haven't talked much about this, but I've been redoing my basement into like a lure making workshop area. And yeah, that's been quite the project and I'm about halfway through it, but I'm to the point where I'll be able to start making some videos down there. Um, so that'll be coming here pretty soon, but we're going to wrap it up there guys. I really appreciate, oh, there's a fish right there. Got him. That one feels decent. That one feels decent. Hopefully he stays pinned. That's a lake trout. So yeah, I was basically saying we're going to wrap the video up here. Which, after this fish we will. I don't know what this is. Maybe a lake trout. Maybe a brook trout. Feels like one of them big brook trout. That's a little lake trout. Just a little guy. Just a little lake trout. I swear these fish, even if they got off the hook, they would still be caught because they wrap themselves up so much. All right. Oh, there we go. Punch me in the face. So there we go, guys. That's going to be the last fish. We're going to end it here. I am going to troll back. So. 
case I get one. You guys will obviously see that, but I'm not going to do any more outro talk. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.